my friends. This week we've decided to do another video all about folding because you guys seem to have so many great questions on the subject. So today we're going to cover how to fold something with a hood, aka a hoodie, how to fold your towels beautifully and perfectly like they're in a laundry commercial, how to fold a dress shirt using a humble magazine and Chad and I are gonna break it down for you and show you does the Japanese folding t-shirt trick work better than the initial folding t-shirt trick that we showed you so stay tuned to the end to find that out oh and I have one more cool unexpected folding tip for you which you have to stick around for until the very end all right let's get to it we'll start things off with the hooded shirt and the issue here is when you're stacking your hooded shirts and this is a pile of hooded shirts folded in the method I'm about to show you Oftentimes what happens is you get unevenness, you get lumpiness, or you get this like old dog tongue looking thing sticking out of the side of your shirts if you're folding a bunch of them and it gets sloppy. So I've fiddled around with it and I think I've come up with something that makes a lot of sense. Take that hood and flip it inward, okay? And then this is basically going to create a mock crew neck. And then you're just gonna fold. Now be aware it'll be a little bit lumpy because you're dealing with that extra fabric but it's nothing that you can't stack and kind of hide. And I really think that this method works the best. You see, with a little bit of smoothing, we've completely concealed that hood. Now I know this is a thinner top, but this would also work for sweaters. And then you get a pretty good profile. This is gonna be pretty simple to stack, and I think that works really well. An alternative to this, if you wanted, is that you could tuck the hood right into the neck and then that would completely bury the hood in the shirt, and then you could just fold it. Again, you're gonna be dealing with a little bit of lumpiness, but no big deal, because when you're actually folding, you will completely conceal, let me just untwist that, you'll completely conceal that hood, okay? And it's all about the smoothing, you see? Like smooth peanut butter, that's what you gotta do. I don't know about you, but when I am at a fancy hotel or spa and I see the towels, I just get excited. It's kind of weird. They know how to fold their towels. And most of us, when these come out of the dryer, you know, we just do kind of like a fold, a fold, a fold. We get some sloppy looking square. We can raise the bar. We can do a little bit better than that. So I'm gonna show you how to achieve this look. It takes seconds to do. It looks beautiful, really high impact, really simple. Let's do it. So you're gonna start off with your towel and if you have a pattern, as I do, you're going to put the pattern side facing down. You're just gonna flatten out that towel as much as you can. Now you're gonna meet each corner set together like so. Get it nice and taut. Then you're going to marry these. They've said their vows, everything's official. Give it a quick shake. Now what you're going to do is you're gonna take the outer edges Flip them in one third, smooth, flip it in another third, and you're done. And when you're stacking your towels, you always want to have the neat edge facing out, and that way you're always concealing this edge, and of course, the side. If you don't have enough closet space to hang these types of shirts, or if you're traveling and you want to figure out how to fold it beautifully, like the way these shirts are folded in store, it is not as hard as you think. All it requires is something simple like a magazine, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. So the first thing you have to keep in mind is you wanna keep your buttons buttoned. That is going to help this situation enormously. So definitely have the top one and the bottom one and just a couple in the middle. Now that that's done and taken care of, flip the shirt over. And it is all about keeping things smooth because the smoother the shirt is, you're, as you're going into this, the smoother it's going to come out when you unfold it. And you know, less wrinkles, obviously, way better. So you're gonna take your magazine and you're just going to place it right below where the collar is. Center, right below where the collar is. Now you're going to fold your shirt as you normally would and linear shirts like these plaid shirts or striped shirts make life a little bit easier in this situation. So you're gonna make sure you have a nice straight line and then there's two things you can do with the sleeve doesn't really matter which one you choose. You can do that and sort of fold it back in on itself, or you can do this neat little zigzag, which I think is kind of fun. So you fold it back like this, you fold it over like that, then you fold it again like this. And of course, if the bottom tail is nice and even, you know that you are definitely on the right track. 
So we'll fold it in, we'll fold that cuff in like that. So we are in pretty good shape. You're going to flip the tail up, the shirt tail up, so that you have a nice even crisp line right there. And here comes the beauty shot. Just fold it in half, right up to the top of where that magazine is, and then gently wiggle it out. Put it to the side, you can read that later. Flip the shirt over, and you can stack it in your dresser, you can put it in a suitcase. It looks beautiful and it's not gonna wrinkle. If you have even one social media account, I am sure you have seen the like five second Japanese t-shirt folding trick somewhere. So I'm gonna show you how it's done. It takes a little bit of practice, but it does work. Pinch right here at the neckline on the left hand side of the shirt, that way you can have the logo facing up. And then you're gonna come down about halfway, so just about diagonal from where the armpit is at the halfway point of the t-shirt. Now you're gonna take your left hand, you are gonna flip it all the way over and pinch the bottom side of the shirt. And I'm gonna pull my right arm through like this, give the t-shirt a quick little shake, lay it down on the opposite side, and then to complete it, I'm just gonna fold it back on itself like this. This is a pretty easy method once you do it a couple of times. I can show you, you can get pretty efficient at it actually. Pinch, pinch, grab, pull through, flip over. Okay, it's a little sloppy, but I mean, you get the idea. It looks great. This does look beautiful. It does take very little time to do once you've mastered it, but I am curious, as I'm sure you are, does this method work better than the first t-shirt folding method I showed you in our first folding video? So to settle the score, I'm gonna get Chad to fold some t-shirts like this, I will fold some t-shirts like this, and we are gonna show you who wins. Chad, put the camera down, let's do this. One little bonus tip I wanted to share with you because you know, we're classy here at Clean My Space. I wanna show you how to fold your toilet paper into a point in case you're having a guest over. You know, it's just a nice little way to say, hey, I care. All right, so what you're gonna do, let's imagine that this is hanging on its little toilet paper roll holder. You're gonna take that bottom piece and flip it up a third of the way. And carving that line out with your fingernails will just help everything stay in place. Then you're going to fold one edge down to the end of that piece of toilet paper. Then you'll flip the other side over, creating a perfectly pointed triangle like this. And then when you lift it up, boom, pointy toilet paper. Classy. For the third installment of our folding videos, I hope it has been educational, informative, and fun for you. Let me know in the comments down below what else you need to figure out how to fold because, you know, we're gonna do more of these videos. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I am at Melissa Maker. The camera guy is at the Chad Reynolds. We are at Clean My Space, and we'd love to see what you're up to, and we'd love to show you what we're up to. There's a button down there that lets me know you care, so click it if you liked this video and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Now is that special time of the week where I get to throw you to two other videos I think you're going to love. Well, it would make the most sense for me to throw you to the other two folding videos that we did in case you haven't seen them yet. You should definitely check them out. The first one talks about doing that cool t-shirt thing we were talking about. The second one talks about crazy cool ways to hang up your pants and doing ranger rolls on your shirts. It's awesome. So make sure to check those two videos out. You can probably click or tap on them. There's also gonna be links down below for you. Also remember to check out our website. It's clean myspace.com. There's lots of cool uh, videos and articles. I forgot what was on the website for a sec. You know, it's been, a, it's been a long week, guys. But you know, there's great stuff on the website. You should definitely check it out. We've got celebrity interviews on there. We've got all kinds of cool checklists and articles and other videos. So be sure to visit it. We've got a link down there for you as well. Thanks, and we'll see you next week.